Hi, this is Nancy Smith from Sunburst Software Solutions, and welcome to the QuickBooks for Contractors YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about what's new in QuickBooks 2012, especially the new batch timesheet entry function. Intuit's going to be marketing this to contractors, from what I can tell, as a means of speeding up um, employee timesheet data entry. However, it's only going to work in a few instances, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. In order to use the batch timesheet function, you have to have time tracking enabled. The use time data to create paychecks option must be turned on for each employee, and you must use the weekly timesheet function. And all of your employees or vendors must work on the same job, be recorded under the same service item, be paid using the same payroll wage item, and must work the same number of hours each day. Let's go see it in action. We'll start by looking at your QuickBooks preferences and make sure everything's set up correctly. So logged in to QuickBooks in single user mode as the QuickBooks administrator, you'll start by going to the edit menu, choosing preferences, scrolling down to time and expenses, click on the company preferences tab, and here in the time tracking section, you want to say yes to do you track time, and you want to set the first day of your work week. And click OK. Next, we'll go to the employees menu, the employee center, We'll click on the Employee tab and double click or hit the Edit Employee button. Then we'll change tabs to the Payroll and Compensation Info. And you want to make sure that the Use Time Data to Create Paychecks option is set. Now you'll need to check each and every employee in your list to make sure that that option has been enabled. Now we get to the meat of the matter. From the employees menu, go to enter time, choose weekly timesheet. In the name drop down, you can now select multiple names for payroll or multiple names non-payroll. These would be your vendors. So if we select multiple names payroll, we want to leave the manual option selected, and then we want to come over here and we want to select by placing a check mark next to employee names, the employees that we're going to enter time for. Now already I'm running into a problem because each of these employees is paid under a different payroll wage item. But let's suppose for a minute that they didn't. You could select your employees, click OK, and now you'll see that we're going to be entering multiple names. Select your job, select your service item, and select your payroll item. You can enter your workers' comp codes, notes, and classes if you so desire and then you enter the hours they worked each day. Now again, all the names that you select must be working on the exact same job, under the exact same service item, and be paid under the same payroll item or rate of pay, and they must work the same number of hours each day. And that's all there is to it. Click Save and Close to record the, the time. Now I see some huge potential problems. For example, let's say you have four employees who work on the same job site, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. On Friday, one of the employees worked somewhere else. Now I can see most people going in, selecting all four employees, 
and entering time for the work week. So this means that either you're going to have to go back and edit the timesheet for the fourth employee and remove the Friday hours or reassign them, or you're going to have to enter or select the four employees, enter their time for Monday through Thursday, save that, go back in, enter timesheets for the three employees that were on the job site on Friday, and then go back and enter the Friday hours just for the other employee. I see this as being a very big problem. Either you're going to end up inadvertently overpaying your employees, or if somebody runs into overtime, you could end up potentially underpaying them. So this is only going to work for limited people. If you're really looking for a better solution, visit our website, sunburstsoftwaresolutions.com and check out our Crew Overtime Entry Program. Crew Overtime was developed to handle all the drawbacks that we just discussed. You can have employees working on more than one job or project during a single work week with different rates of pay for each job. You do this by selecting crews. They can also work under more than one type of work or trade classification in a single work week with different wage rates for each classification. You can also set up the program to calculate overtime, weighted average overtime, or blended overtime, as some states call it. Thanks for joining us um, here on the QuickBooks for Contractors YouTube channel. You can find us online at blog.sunburstsoftwaresolutions.com for more QuickBooks tips and tricks, or visit our website, sunburstsoftwaresolutions.com, to check out QuickBooks integrated add-ons that have been developed especially for the commercial or government construction industry. Thanks and have a great day.